Yes, he goes for it! Who doesn't love a screamer? There are many spectacular ways of scoring goals, but one of them is definitely the long shot. And today I've teamed up with none other than pro bowler Martin Wingard, who is a bit of a specialist in the art of scoring screamers. And if you want to score more long shot goals, well now is the time to listen. And while Martin is very good, we can also learn a lot from watching the very best out there. Now I've kind of split it into two. There is the hard driven shot from a bit further out, and then there is the in-swinging curler trying to put it out of the keeper's reach. And what really matters here is the positioning of the keeper, but especially also of the players. And if we can see here that they find themselves in a position on the opposite flank to their strong foot, so cutting into the pitch, and the keeper is in a position where they can kind of swing it and curl it over him into the far corner. That is what they're gonna try to do. On the other hand, if they find themselves on the same side as their strong foot a bit further out, they will need to go for the harder driven shot. But what I can take away from watching both situations is that the really good long shots out there are done when they have a good setup, which means that their stride towards the ball, their run up, can be even and balanced so they are in a good position when they strike. And then they always also look up to watch the keeper to determine where they should place the shot. And that is the major learning we can take from the pros. Of course, you also need the technique so you can actually exploit the potential opening the keeper might be giving you. So what can we learn from the pro? So get the scenario, you're outside the box, you want to curl the ball in the far corner over the keeper. But Martin, what is the actual technique here? So the actual technique is that you very early made up your mind that I want to go for the long corner and I want to do it by the curling shot. I put my standing leg in, in the direction that I run. I want to go for the long corner. It means I need to get the ball in the air. So I have to hit the ball a little bit under the middle and a little bit to the side. Then I need to hit the ball around this area. So top of the instep. Top of the instep. So I can make sure that we get the curl. Mm -hmm. It's very important since we want to make the ball to go in the air that your body doesn't do like this. Because then it really goes in the air. <laughs> correct, correct. We want to make sure it gets down again. So you have to be a little bit like this. And then as soon as you make the shot, it's very important that you make sure to keep your leg to go and crush your body. Okay, to generate the swerve. Correct. So, so, so basically, standing foot in the direction you're running, angle the body towards the goal like you showed, hit the ball a little to the side, under the middle, yep. to get it up. Keep the upper body over the, the ball to, to, to make sure it stays down and then swing your leg across the ball to generate the swerve. Correct. The other scenario is where you're a little bit further out so the curler isn't the best idea unless you're David Beckham. And I know Martin looks a bit like David Beckham, <laughs> but here the long driven shot is a better option. And although you do need more power, it's not actually not all about power, is it? That's correct, that's correct. Actually, if you have the right technique, it will create the power of okay. the shot. So you don't need to just blast it. Correct. Power comes from technique. But when you're set up and you approach the ball, how important is your standing leg here? It's, I would say it's the biggest part of it. Okay. So your standing leg has to point in that direction where you want to hit the target. So that's number one, Okay. standing leg. Number two, lock your ankle and that you hit the ball in the center of the ball. Okay. This time. Uh huh. So you lock your ankle, hit the ball center, make sure your upper body again comes over the ball. Uh huh. You don't want to lean back too much. Okay. And then make sure that your leg follows through. Okay. Do you As go straight or across the body? This time you go more straight. Okay. Of course, you can go a little bit, but not as much as the curling shot. So you this want is more to, straight. Okay, so you want to simply get your foot pointing in the direction. That's where the, the placement comes from. Then you want to lock your ankle and follow through directly. This is where the technique that generates the power comes from. Correct, correct. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you score screamers from range. Obviously, training this is best with a keeper. But what can you do if you don't have one at hand? And the best way to do that is actually just to go out there and shoot some balls. But Martin's insider tip here was that instead of starting from range and missing the goal a whole lot of times, you go closer to the goal and nail down the technique. And then once you feel comfortable, you can move further out and further out and further out and score bangers like Ronaldo. So what we can take from what Martin told us is that you should focus a whole lot on your technique and how you strike the ball. 
And after seeing me shoot a couple of times, Martin came to me and said, look, there are some things that you also shouldn't do when you take long shots. And the biggest no-no is to just run at the ball and blindly close your eyes, blast it with as much power as possible. Because this means you're gonna lose all precision. You're just basically gonna focus on one thing, tipping over the goal with your power, and also you're not gonna see where the goalkeeper is. So eliminate that from your game and focus on hitting the ball with the right technique. So there you have it, my friends, the Pro Bowler's Guide to Scoring More Long Shot Goals. And hopefully you learned a thing or two. But what should we teach you guys next? Well, as always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And also remember, if you want to do like Martin here and gear up in the David Beckham Predator Precision from the Icon Pack, you can get this and the Sedan Accelerator if you click the link to our store right over there. You good? No, you keep going. I didn't do this all day. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, what you should also do is go subscribe to our channel with the notifications on right over there, and then go learn more skills if you click the playlist right down there. Gonna let you down. We're signing off. Cheerio. <laughs>